Him. I want to watch the news. Are you making are you making headway at least? This is the news. Smack a McGavin is time for the only news that matters. And Ace Frehley would love to tour Europe in support of his upcoming album, 10,000 Volts, but he has one huge hurdle to get past. The founding Kiss guitarist is currently unable to renew his passport due to a huge tax debt. The Rock and Roll Hall of Famer asked by Finnish music site Chaosine about what's preventing him from touring in Europe and presumably overseas locations. And he gave a very honest answer. He said, well, there's a good chance I can make it to Europe in late summer if I get my passport renewed. I've been having issues with renewing my passport because I have some problems with the IRS. And it's not really the Passport Bureau, but the IRS. Since I owe the IRS a couple of hundred grand and they just instituted a new law that if you owe more than 50 grand, they won't renew your passport. Luckily, I have some real smart attorneys working on it and there are ways around it. So hopefully I might be able to get my passport within two or three weeks. If that happens, I will be in Europe this summer. If it doesn't happen, I will be in Europe next summer. But I'd love to be, you know, this summer, there this summer, because it's been too long since I did a festival there. Frehley's tax troubles aren't preventing him from touring in the United States. Uh, He's booked a string of 2024 shows that start in January 25th in Kentucky. Uh, So, um, yeah, there you go. Uh, Ace Frehley owes hundreds of grand to the IRS. What, what, what the hell, man? How many times has Ace Frehley got to be a, a cajillionaire and lose it all? Seriously. You know, I mean, obviously he has to be hurting because he's out there torn like a dog. He needs money badly, you know? And... Further proof that I don't believe that he's leasing out that makeup to Kiss. I believe they 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 gave him money for it, and I don't know what's going on with Ace, man. Uh, is it a gambling problem? Uh, I don't know. All I know is that guy. How many times that guy got, that guy became a millionaire and then lost it all? You know, Peter Chris seems to be doing fine. Uh, it looks like he invested his money properly and didn't blow it all away like Ace did, you know? Gene said a story once about Ace that Ace had this, like, a uh, lightning bolt on his on his uh, guitar strap. And he told Ace, man, you should copyright that. You can get some good money for it. And Ace never did. And then, you know, they were starting to produce straps with guitar, with lightning bolts. And Gene said to Ace, Man, I told you to invest now. All these other people are making money off your idea. And A said to him, Ah, don't worry about it. I'll think of something else that'll become popular. And Ace is still feuding with Gene and Paul. You know, he said uh, that they were really nice to him and Peter Chris and Bruce Kulick uh, six or seven months ago. They were saying, We called Ace, we called Peter. And they're going to be on stage with us and play a few final songs, you know? Brotherhood and all that bullshit. And then, the last month, once uh, the show was sold out and they didn't need our help to sell out any more tickets, uh, Howard Stern, uh, on the Howard Stern Show, Paul Stanley said, well, if Ace and Peter go up on stage with us, you might as well call the band Piss. And... Uh, that was completely uh, opposite from what he was saying six or seven months ago. And I don't know why he said it, but it pissed me off. And after hearing that, I decided I, was going, I wasn't going there. Even if he had invited me, 
and giving me personal invitation after he had hit us below the belt with that comment, I would not have gone there. You know, I can play rings around Paul Stanley on guitar, and I can even sing better than him, and I don't have to use backing tracks. Oh boy. Well, I mean, come on. I mean, Paul Stanley now, who can't sing better than Paul Stanley now? I mean, that's not fair, Ace. Yeah, I will admit, you can sing better than Paul Stanley now, but your voice is nowhere near as kick-ass as it was, you know? Um, but, you know, whatever. Uh, Ace, Ace seems to be really surrounded by yes people, you know? And you can tell by the way he talks, by the way he talks about himself and the record. And if you look at recent interviews with that guy from Trickster, Steve Brown with Ace, I mean, he's lathering Ace's ass pretty damn good. And that's just, you know, I think that's what Ace is surrounded by, a bunch of yes people. The same thing could be said about Gene and Paul, you know, but, you know, a Ace is, uh, he's wack. He is funny, though, I gotta admit. He's funny, like, ah, oh, I can play rings around him. I can even sing better than him. And this and that and that and this. Hey, look, Paul in his prime against Ace in his prime, it's no contest. Paul kills him. Paul slaughters him. But, you know, you're picking at, you're, you're picking at a, uh, you know, at an unarmed man, you know? A uh, guy that, that has, like, uh, vocal paralysis. I mean, it's terrible. How can you not sing better than that? That'd be sad. I do enjoy his new song, 100,000 Volts. And, you know, Steve Brown helped write it. So, you know, thanks to Steve Brown for leaving his good stuff for Ace and his crappy stuff for Trickster. Trickster, man. <laughs> I mean, God damn, man. And, and this guy is like, I don't know. I, I, I got to say, I am shocked. I am shocked how good that song is, man. But really, let's see how the rest of this album is. I'm very skeptical about this album. A good, strong opening track does not guarantee a good album. Like, uh, I remember, I liked the song, um, oh, what was the song from Anomaly? Uh, damn, I forgot it. The, the main single. Uh, Out of Space, I, I forget. Yeah. yeah, I think it's called Out of Space. Whatever it's called. I liked it. And I was excited to hear the album after I heard that song and then... I really didn't like Anomaly. I felt like it was such a letdown after waiting 20 years for that. But the next album, I love Space Invader and I love Spaceman 2. And I hope, I really do hope that this next album is as good or better than the last two. Because I really did enjoy Space Invader a lot and Spaceman. I thought they were two great albums, man. I thought they rocked, and uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to this new one, but yeah, I'm kind of like, I don't know, man. I'd be really pleasantly surprised and shocked if it's a great album. Is it going to be better than Ace Frehley's solo album from 78? Well, according to Ace, it's the best thing he's done since then. And Steve Brown, I heard him say it too. It's the, be it's the, it's the best album. It's as good as 78, he said, so... But, you know, I've heard Ace say that it's the best album since the 78 solo album with uh, uh, Anomaly. And I, I think he said that about Spaceman as well. You know, it's like, uh, and then, you know, it's not. I don't think he's ever going to top that 78 solo album. But let's see uh, what happens when the new album comes out. Can it be the impossible happens that Ace Frehley releases an album? that was written with the guy from Trickster and ends up being better than the 78 solo album or as good, that would be shocking. You know, like, like a month ago, I went and took a, a little bit of a deep dive with Trickster, you know, because all I knew was like that hit song, whatever, that kind of hit song they had like at the tail end of the hairband things. And uh, I hated it. And I, I'm sure I've seen a ballad or something. I've seen a couple of their videos back in the day where I was like, oh my God, this is putrid. So, 
now that he's working with Ace, I was like, man, let me go check out some Trickster, you know? And I did. I'm, I'm, I can't say I sat through whole albums. Uh, pretty much every song I ended up skipping halfway through or even before halfway through because it was so bad. And I went through YouTube. I heard three. Yeah, it was three Trickster albums, and that was enough, man. And I was saying, Jesus, man. He must be holding the the good stuff for Ace because there was no Trickster song even half as good as 100,000 volts. Not even half as good. It was all mediocre and forgettable, and I didn't like it. So let's just hope Steve Brown proves me wrong and the next album is as good or almost as good as the 78 solo album, and it's the second best release he's ever done. I doubt that'll happen. What do you think? Do you think that'll happen? I don't know, man. We'll find out. But I want to thank you all for watching The Only News That Matters. And please subscribe to my channel if you haven't. I would really appreciate that. And, uh, click the little notification bell. Leave your comments below. What do you feel about, you know, Ace and, uh, you know, continuing to bash Paul and owing money to the IRS? That's some wild stuff. And like the video. It's good for the YouTube aneurysm. So, stay frosty. Listen to Black Sabbath and smack them a gob. Farewell and adieu to you fair Spanish ladies. Farewell and adieu you ladies of Spain. For we've received orders for to sail back to Boston. And so never more shall we see you again. <laughs>